Okay. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. Look at that door. We heard lightning one in, Gypsy trying to kick the door open. But before we could do anything, she was out over the corral fence and gone. That makes the fifth mayor you've lost in three weeks, Sally. And the most valuable. And also the last one that wild stallion will ever steal from me or anyone else. There's no law in this state that says that horse stealing is a death penalty. Well, I'm going to revive it. Lightning's a horse thief, and I'm going to have him killed. Oh, but Miss Emerson, it'd be a shame to kill him. Why not try to capture him and... Why, we might as well try to capture a cyclone. No, Duke. That stallion has got to be destroyed. And we're going to do it. I understand how you feel, Sally. You've stolen a couple of mares from me. I'm with you all the way. What happened, Steve? I spotted lightning a half an hour ago over across the ridge. Saddle my horse while I get my gun. Duke, we're going after him. I'll go along. Fine. What's the idea of backing up her play? If Lightning's killed... Then we'll find another wild stallion to take his place. Wild stallion we heard about in San Rafael. What beauty! Disco, that, that, that's the most horse I ever see. <laughs> I bet it worth lots of pesos, eh? Shall we catch him? No, Pancho. We're leaving him alone. Pancho, freedom is the most precious thing in the world. You ought to know that. Who are we to deprive him of the right to live the way he wants to? Disco is right, caballo. Run around, have a good time, have lots of fun, and mind your own business like Cisco don't never do. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Goodbye, I think. Come on, Pancho. <laughs> I 
Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> look, Cisco, look. More company. What do you mean, keeping my employee from killing that wild stallion? I think that Lightning has as much right to live as you or I. He's forfeited that right. He's a thief. He's stolen several of my most valuable mares. And only last night he induced my pet gypsy to break down her stall and join him. If Lightning had stolen your mares, they'd be running around in a pack with him. And he wouldn't be ranging these hills alone. Si, sí, senorita. He couldn't take no chance of some other stallion stealing the mares from him. I'm a horse breeder. And I used to think the way you do. But I changed my mind when I saw that stallion steal one of my mares. He's probably got him hidden up in a canyon somewhere. Or maybe up a tree. You cost me my chance to get him today, but there'll be other days. Hey, mister, you forgot your rifle. Well, Pancho, what do you make of it? I think there is something wrong about this. I think that... Oh, this... Cisco, Cisco, don't start thinking. You're going to get us in trouble. But, Pancho, this Mr. Larson and also the girl's foreman, both of them know as well as we do that if Lightning stole those mares, he wouldn't be running around alone. Why did they make her think different? I don't know. Why does she want to kill such a beautiful animal? I don't know. But she's not going to do it. Yeah, well, that, that's what I say. But how are you going to stop her? Well, you and I are going to catch lightning and protect him. <laughs> and if that little spitfire she finds out, we're going to have to have somebody protect us. Uh, first, we'll have to get the stallion, Pancho, and then we'll worry about that. Besides, she doesn't look so ferocious. No. Neither does the baby wildcat until he bites you. Duke, you go back to the ranch. Steve and I are going into town to post a reward for lightning. See you later, Larson. That Cisco and his pal are liable to get in our hair. I know. That's why you and the boys are going to look around for them and see that they don't. Right. Doc. He's in the barn. You and Utah go with Duke. He's got a little job to take care of. How do you like it, Frank? I like it. By the time you get that paint job finished and give her teeth the once over, I'll be able to sell Gypsy right back to the Emerson girl. <laughs> How much is this horse worth, Frank? Five thousand. Five thousand? Oh, I'm going to be more careful. The only chance we have to save him is to get a rope around his neck. How are we going to do that? We'll climb up on either side of him. Get your rope. Uh, Cisco, sometimes I think you think I'm a mountain sheep. Sometimes you think right. Come on. You start that way, Pancho. And when I get to the top... You, you may need to get to the top. When I get up there, Pancho, you wait for my signal. Then we'll both rope him at the same time. Yeah, then what are you going to do? Uh, we'll hold on to him until he gets tired. Now start climbing. What? Start climbing? It's pretty high down from up there. Pancho, get up there. Take it easy. 
Steady, steady. Ooh, this is a strong horn. They got muscles sticking out all over him. Steady, boy, steady. You know, Pancho, I think I'll break it. Yeah, he's going to prop your full neck for you. That's entirely possible. He's a fine horse. Put that in the chair. Whoa, boy. Take it easy, huh? I've covered some fresh tracks, Duke. Where? About three miles, the other side of Stony Point. Let's go. Rick. Oh, boy. Hey, Pancho. Yeah? Be careful. Get away from him the minute I get on. Uh, I'd like to let go be before you get on, Cisco. lightning with them. Boy, look at that Cisco ride. That's the last ride he'll ever take anywhere. Come on. them now. I recognize one of them. He's the girl's foreman. We're going to pay a visit to Miss Emerson. You're not welcome here, so get right back on your horses and ride off. Now look, Miss, we came here to apologize to you for interfering the other day. I hope you changed your mind about lightning stealing your mare. Well, I haven't changed my mind. You said that your pet mare, Gypsy, kicked her way out of the stall and joined the stallion, didn't you? Now look here, Please, you miss. Just... I may be wrong about this, but I have an idea that might clear lightning. We'd like to have a look at Gypsy's stall. Well, all right. Come with me. What's well, this? Is it. Pancho, take a look at those horseshoe marks. <laughs> that little mare, I guess she was on her back when she made those feet prints, huh? <laughs> Say, miss, did you ever see a horse kick down the door? No, no, I haven't. Pancho, make believe you're gypsy and kick down the door. Y gypsy, the mare? <laughs> oh, I can't be a she-horse. Why not? Well, <laughs> I beg your pardon, senorita. 
<laughs> well, then make believe you're local. But I ain't crazy. I... But I didn't mean to say that you were crazy, Pancho. Make believe you're your own horse, local. Oh, well, that's a different color of another horse, eh? Hey, Senorita, you better look out for local because he's a high kicker. Look, I, I show you. Look. <laughs> 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 As <laughs> good, no? <laughs> Did you notice how Pancho kicked? His toes were down. So? So those imprints couldn't have been made by Gypsy. I don't follow you. Uh, look. Tell me, miss. If this horseshoe were on your Gypsy's hind foot and she was kicking at the door, which end of it would be up? The toe or the open end? Well, the open ends, of course. Well, then take a look at those prints. The toes are up. I don't understand. It's very simple, miss. Somebody stole your gypsy and used horseshoes nailed to a board to make you believe that gypsy kicked her way out of the stall. But who? How? Where's your foreman? Duke? Well, he's out riding the fences, but, but surely you don't think that he would do it. I most certainly do, and also your friend Larson. I can't prove anything, but they've been stealing your mares and blaming an innocent stallion. Yeah, and your foreman and two other homes, he tried to kill us. Wait a minute, Pancho. We're going to trail him, all right. But we want Larson, too. We'll see you later, miss. Gypsy must be in that barn over there. Pancho, you stay here while I have a look. I'm going to circle around. Gypsy. It looks like somebody did a very good dying job on you. Don't be nervous, girl. Come on out here. We'll be home in a little while.
Get loose and come over here. Come here. Uh, well, I'll be a gee whiz. I didn't did something. Stand over there. What's the matter, Pancho? He's hurt? No, I, I just breathe on it, then it's all over. <laughs> That's as far as I go. I'm an artist, a creator of masterpieces. I paint. I don't unpaint. Oh, you... you don't, eh? <laughs> Positively not. It would ruin my reputation. Well, you better start ruining the reputation by picking up that sponge and unpinning Gypsy right away, if not sooner. Because if you don't, aren't you will be very cross and spoil everything. Threats don't frighten me. No. My art transcends all fears. Trem thems, eh? <laughs> oh, let's just don't be too hasty. <laughs> you know, after all, there are times in one's life when a man stoops to conquer. <laughs> Behold, my friend. A masterpiece of undoing in the making. <laughs> hey, don't worry, senorita. We got Gypsy putting you as good as new. <laughs> That's fine. Say, what's keeping Cisco with that surprise you both told me about? Yeah, I won't tell you. Don't be impatient. He will be right away. <laughs> Here comes now. Look, uh, look at Hey. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lightning. This is a surprise. It is a gift for you, from Cisco and Pancho. You really mean that? Yeah, on one condition. What is that? That you marry him up with Gypsy. <laughs> oh, Pancho, look what you did. You embarrassed Gypsy. Why well, people get married, don't they? Oh, Pancho! Oh, oh, Cisco! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, amigos. See you soon. <laughs>